This time on Brit Lab. Which drinks give you the worst hangovers and why do we get them? True or false, bubbly drinks get you drunk faster. Actually, it's true. One of the reasons is because the carbon dioxide in the drink opens up a muscle called the pyloric sphincter, which connects your stomach to your small intestine. That means the alcohol passes into the small intestine and gets absorbed faster, and that makes you drunk faster. True or false, does mixing your drink give you worse hangovers? False. It's all about the drinks you have and the amount of alcohol in those drinks. Mixing them doesn't seem to make much difference. Dark drinks like red wine and whiskey can produce worse hangovers than clear drinks. And one explanation is that they contain natural chemicals called congeners, which irritate the blood vessels and tissues of your brain. In fact, some whiskies can contain up to 37 times more congeners than, say, vodka. So you might be better off with a vodka, though it obviously depends on how much you drink. What all these drinks have in common is ethanol, also called pure alcohol, and one of the oldest recreational drugs known to man. In its pure form, it is flammable, volatile, and can be used as an engine fuel. And on average, we each sink the equivalent of a gallon of pure alcohol a year. No wonder some of us suffer from flaming hangovers. We don't know exactly what causes a hangover, but there are lots of contributory factors. Alcohol, for example, blocks the release of a hormone called vasopressin, and that makes you wee more and become dehydrated. When alcohol is broken down by your liver, it produces a rather nasty toxic substance called acetaldehyde, and that certainly helps make you feel sick and get a headache. Finally, alcohol also leads to the release of inflammatory factors called cytokines, and they almost certainly contribute to nausea, headache, and also muscle ache. Your liver normally produces glucose overnight, so it tops up your blood sugars while you're asleep. But if it's been busy breaking down alcohol, then it's not going to be producing as much blood sugar, and the result is that you will wake up feeling tired and irritable. As for hangover cures, well, there is a long list of possible remedies which have been put forward, from red ginseng to prickly pear cactus extract, from milk thistle to artichokes. The problem is none of these are particularly effective. Personally, if I think I've overdone it, I have a few glasses of water and a couple of paracetamol before I go to bed, and the next morning I make sure I have a good breakfast, topped up with a bit of vitamin C, and resolve never to do it again. Why not share your hangover tips in the comment section below? And while you're about it, subscribe to BritLab.